Hi everyone, today we're going to go through how to create a custom overpayment in Xero. Um, so let's say if your customer accidentally overpays an invoice by a certain amount, or maybe they accidentally pay the same invoice twice, um, or this would even apply if one of your customers gives you a deposit for a job that you haven't completed or haven't invoiced yet. So we're going to go through, yeah, how to create that overpayment. They work for all those different examples. Um, but for today's scenario, we're going to pretend that, yeah, we've received a deposit from a customer um, and the job hasn't been completed. So therefore it hasn't been invoiced, um, but we want to still reconcile that money coming in. So what we would do is we'd log into our zero file. We'd click on reconcile items. And then we'd scroll down and we'd find the money that we've received. So we can see here City Limousine sent us $100 on the 11th of October, but there's no prompt, nothing's coming up to reconcile. Um, so like I said, in a different scenario, it could be because perhaps they've overpaid, perhaps your invoice in your system's only for $50, but they've sent you 100, therefore it wouldn't be matching. But in today's scenario, we'll pretend this is a deposit um, but the steps are all the same. What you want to do is you want to come over and click on match and then you want to scroll down to new transaction and click on receive money. Now from here where it says received as, we're going to change that to overpayment and just double check who it's coming from is correct, the right contacts. So it's definitely from city limousines and just double check the dates are correct of when that money was actually received. Now you can put a reference in. Um, so let's say this is our deposit. And then just double check the description and the amounts all right, and then click save transaction. So now that we've created that overpayment, we can reconcile this item. So make sure that field selected, scroll down the totals match and just hit reconcile. And you can find this overpayment now if you go into business invoices, we'll scroll down and we can see right here our reference deposit, City Limousines on the 11th for $100. Now, when it comes to applying this overpayment, what you do is you, you let this sit here until you've invoiced the job or until the job's completed. Um, and then what you do is you'd click on the overpayment. You come over here to overpayment options and allocate credit. So let's say, yeah, once we finish the job, we created an invoice here, ORC1012 uh, for $660. We make sure we apply our credit, hit allocate credit. That's been fully allocated. So there's no more money left on the overpayment. And if we come into city limousines, we would then see that our invoice for the job that was completed now only shows that $560 is owing because it's applied the overpayment. So that's essentially the whole procedure. Once that's done, um, you could send this to your client so that they know they've still got $560 left to pay. Um, and it's, it's taken out of your system. It's all been reconciled. So hopefully that was helpful um, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.